Today's lesson is on why your serves are going long and the solutions. There's usually two reasons why your serves are going long. Number one, very simple to fix. Um, you know, when you hit a serve, we're talking about a flat first serve. The toss will be out in front, okay? Now, if the toss is out in front and you're leaning into it, your racket has a chance to get vertical when you hit the ball, okay? But if your toss is back this way too much, not in front enough, let me put it this way, more towards the net, okay? So I would toss the ball out there more towards the net to make sure I can get that racket vertical. If the toss is too far back, the racket, so here's a side view. If I was serving that in that direction, I come up, I toss. Now, if the ball is not out in front, if it's back here, your racket never has a chance to get vertical because the ball's not in front enough. So that's number one. Check your toss. Make sure that the ball is out in front. Lean into it. But remember, you want the racket straight up when you make contact. The second reason why your serves may be going long, it always comes back to this insufficient topspin. Okay, so I want to talk about topspin, how to hit a topspin serve. The first thing you have to do is lower your toss. Here's the reason why. Let's say, okay, you're hitting a first serve. There's the toss. The first serve is coming in totally flat, okay? You're hitting the ball flat with no spin, all right? So the toss is there, and let's say that's the height of the toss right there. Now, with a second serve, when you're trying to hit top spin, even on a first serve when you're trying to hit top spin, you have to lower the toss. Why would you lower the toss? So the racket can contact the ball while it's still rising. Okay, so instead of being up here, you want the ball lower so the racket can make contact with the ball in this position and it's brushing on a 45 degree angle this way which is going to impart some forward spin to the ball there's another way i want you to think of this and let me show you let's say that this racket that the, the piece of tape that i have on the racket represents the ball Okay, now, first serve, you're coming right into the ball, right? I mean, let's say flat serve, I'm sorry, flat serve, you're coming right into the ball. Because even on a first serve, if your percentage is low, you want to use some spin. Put a little top spin on the ball. That's going to raise your percentage. But anyway, if you're trying to hit flat, you're going to go like this, right? Straight into the ball. With top spin, you're going to be coming up this way on that angle from low to high, brushing this way. Now, here's a side view of it. Okay, here's the ball you can see represented by that tape. So the racket is coming up on edge. Notice the racket's coming up on edge towards the ball. This is the back side of the ball. Now that's why sometimes when players come up, the edge of the frame hits the ball, they get a miss hit, and they get very discouraged. But remember, that's a good sign because it means you were very close to getting by the ball. 
So don't get discouraged if, if you frame a few as your racket's coming up. That's a good sign. Now here's what you have to do. As you're coming up, get the edge of the racket by the ball first. Then lean in, catch the ball, and brush like you're trying to come up and over the racket. So it's kind of from left, so you're going from left to right and like you're trying to come up and over the edge of this racket. So here's the ball, edge comes up, lean in, pick up the ball, snap the wrist and come over the top of the ball. Now that's not what actually happens, but that's the imagery that I want you to get in mind when you practice this. Because really what happens when you, if you have a continental grip and your racket's moving low to high like this, what will actually happen is your wrist will, your wrist and forearm will pronate. Okay, that's a natural happening if you have a continental grip. But remember, the imagery, what I want you to think about is that you're coming up the backside and you're rolling the racket over that ball. That's going to help you get that feeling for the topspin. Okay, so when you go out to practice, remember, lower the toss right away and get that imagery in your mind. You're trying to roll the racket up over the ball. Here we go. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion here. And you'll see this is a topspin serve, but it's not a heavy topspin serve. It's not a kick serve. But you'll see that I approach the ball right there. I'm coming, I'm approaching the ball from the bottom left, and my wrist and forearm are snapping towards the right and up. So the ball has just left my racket. Notice the hitting hand is facing the right fence. That's pronation, which happens on all serves, flat, uh, topspin, or slice. OK, here's slow motion from a different angle. You see, as I drop the hands, the weight transfers to the back foot. And then as the hands come up, the weight transfers forward to the front leg, and I go to that platform position. Now, as I'm coming up right there, I'm approaching the ball from the bottom left, and I'm going to brush left to right across that 45 degree. Right there, the hitting hand is facing the camera. That's pronation. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel. All the best, guys. Get out there and practice and make it a good one. To your tennis success. Take care.